KVRR Sports Director Keith Albertson has our lead story. Guys, there were definitely plenty of surprises when the team met with President Trump on Monday morning. The schedule was very strict, or so it seemed, but that was quickly thrown out the window as President Donald Trump does what he likes to do best. He improvised. Duke held an open practice this afternoon for just 40 minutes, yet thousands of people packed into Colonial Life Arena to watch the team. The biggest draw, of course, being freshman Zion Williamson, who is likely going to be the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. Of course, that is going to cause potentially some mismatches between Duke and North Dakota State. The reason the Bison have been able to make it this far has been their three-point shooting. They were on fire through the Summit League tournament, and that continued as they sunk nine triples against North Carolina Central. But Duke is ranked 10th nationally in three-point defense, allowing opponents to shoot just 29.4% from beyond the perimeter. Will the Bison be able to make up for that? We will find out tomorrow night. Tip-off is at 610. Reporting from South Carolina at the NCAA tournament, Keith Albertson, KVRR Sports. We don't yet know who it will be, but we do know it will be their first. Virginia and Texas Tech playing for a national title in men's basketball here at U.S. Bank Stadium, where more than 72,000 people filled up the arena for the semifinal games. And now in the championship game, with the stage getting bigger, the energy will be amplified as well. One of the nice things about Frisco is we're not dealing with 20 below or 35 below. About 27 hours until kickoff, and this place will be filled with fans from both James Madison and North Dakota State. The motto for the past couple of days has been take it easy. The Bison started the first quarter of practice yesterday with the players watching a scrimmage between the equipment managers as well as the team videographers just trying to have some fun and ease the tensions. But even with the levity, they're both teams know what's at stake on Saturday. Allowing the third fewest yards in the NFL a year ago was still only good enough to get the Vikings to 8-8 eight and eight on the season. But today, Minnesota locked down a cornerback who was locked down for them a year ago. Xavier Rhodes is set to play for the Vikes through the year 2022 after signing a five-year extension with the club earlier today. For the second year in a row, Virginia men's basketball making history, but this time it's the good kind of history. One year after getting bounced from the big dance as a one seed against a 16 for the first time ever, they rebound in the biggest way possible. As the focus shifts to football, the emphasis is on family for the Minnesota Vikings. Supporting Tony's family, supporting each other as a family, and playing as a family. Reporting from Egan, Minnesota at Vikings training camp, Keith Albertson, KVRR Local News. And one more interesting note, when talking with Mike Houston, the head coach for James Madison, again, James Madison, the defending national champion, preseason number one, undefeated throughout the season and the number one seed in the playoffs, Houston still thinks that his team is the underdog heading into Saturday's matchup. Now, as the team ushers in the Matt Entz coaching era, they are excited to continue that tradition. The goal, as always, to get back to Toyota Stadium. Frisco extending the contract of the FCS championship through 2025. We'll see if the Bison can keep coming back. Signing off from Frisco, Texas, Keith Albertson, KVRR Sports.